sprint quarterfinals. Again, it's getting monotonous. This another Frenchman, Alain Tournant, extremely experienced and fast individual. That man is number 84. Leading Ike Pakorni from Germany. So Pakorni in second position. Very, very happy to be in this position because uh, in the last round he actually put out Marty Neustein. Marty had to come back through the repercharge, charge, which he wasn't very happy about. So Tune, they're going awfully slow. They're looking for a track stand, but they've got to do at least one lap. They've got to be careful on that banking. Earlier this afternoon, we had two runners sliding off. The New Zealander and Chapa, the Italian. When you look at the sheer speed of Laurent Gann in that, that previous heat, Russell, it must inspire it must inspire you when you get up to, to, uh, to ride in your heat when your teammate's done a 10-8 and he was sat up shaking his fist. Oh, it definitely lifts you. The Tournay's on the front. Bacorny. Bacorny starts to come. Remember back in 91, Bacorny was the world tandem champion. He's also been a medalist in Olympic sprints, so he hit the line now. McCorney's the one on the back, he's trying to get, got to get over. Looking comfortable, now he starts to go, now he starts to accelerate, but he's not full on yet. McCorney's running in, can McCorney get over? Tourne's trying to do it, McCorney's leaving it out to late. The crowd's trying to whiz him on, but oh no, no, no. Tourne got that by half a bike. Another victory for France, 11.096, almost 65 kilometers an hour. A win for Tourne of France. Yeah, Shane there for Bacorny. I mean, he's been riding for a long time. He's 29 years of age. Just say he's a local hero. Back in 91, he was tandem world champion. And just a few days ago, bronze medal in the Olympic sprint. Well, we've actually got uh, three Frenchmen through Russell. Rousseau through with a 10.9. Laurent Gann went through with a 10.8. And Arnaud Tournant went through with an 11. There might be three, three, three Frenchmen through, but we had three terrific British riders yesterday getting our silver medal, didn't we? Excellent ride by uh, Craig McLean, Chris Hoy. Chris Hoy, and Jason Queeley. I mean, they recorded uh, a time in the Olympic sprint of 45.485. France just shaving ahead by 0.637 of a second, recording a time of 44.848. And boys, did they make our day? They certainly did. There he is then, number 84, Tournant, looking very pleased with himself. I should think Darren, Daniel Morillon and, and Canton, the two French sprint coaches, must have for Gant, and he was coasting towards the end. So on the line now, for Corny and Tournant. Final heat then, Arnon Tournant from France against another homeboy, Ike Pokorny from Germany. Pokorny drawing the inside. This will decide the final ride and the four riders that go through, already through, Jens Fiedler from Germany, Russo from France, Ga from France, and the winner of this ride will go through Tournant on the back, already one up in this competition, so Pakorni has it all to do. So Tourne there on the yellow look bike, comes from Roubaix, 80, 180 in height and 80 kilograms in weight. Earlier in the year, broke the French record for the one kilometer in Mexico City for the 101. Tournant is uh, more of a kilometer rider, Russell. Yeah, also he was a uh, gold medalist last night in the Olympic sprint, so it's been a busy, busy week for him. He started off by winning the, uh, the kilometer, and then when he went, went on to win the uh, Olymp uh, Olympic sprint, can he make him three in a trot? Well, Pacorni sponsored by Red Bull. I think he's going to need all the Red Bull he can get to uh, to beat Tournant, because he's very much a man on form. 
Well, Bakuni said his big ambition in this World Championships, if he can, is just to get to the semi-finals. He's a local man. He realised how good the other riders are. He's just trying to get to the semi-finals. So Bakuni's riding in the middle of the track. He's trying to keep Tournay up there out of the way. Has he got the power to keep him up? Tournay just wants to open that throttle and go, but Bakuni's slowing him down. Now Bakuni goes down, but here comes Tournay. Here he comes. Turn it on. The world champion, the kilometre, the world champion, Olympic sprint. He's just playing. He's playing. Bakuni's trying. But you can't keep these French boys down. What were the final kick? 10.768. Just cross the line, then you put your little left hand down and say, hey, next time, buddy, next time. <laughs> so we've got uh, Rousseau of France through, Gann of France through, and now Tourne of France through. What a final it's going to be. One German rider, Jens Fiedler, through to the final. Tournant then delighted with that ride return a time of 10.768 <coughs> here is so back to slow-mo there the corny on the inside trying to get to line desperate 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 but tuna is coming over the top so much faster the corny's got his head down wishing that line could come quicker could he still lead him but then last 10 meters warm at the line tuna and this is really nice real gentleman that final that final kick to the line that surge by tuna is really quite exceptional what a final what a final it's going to be 